What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World and breaking news. EA Sports has finally said something about those of us that have not received our boost and the alumni free player. The glitch is going to be fixed over the next couple days, so you do not have to worry about it. You really don't have to do anything except for make sure you did the things in college football, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. So what is going on right now, right? Many of you guys that have been looking for the 80 overall cards that go into this set, you have not received it. I am one of those people, but I did get the XP, okay? I got the XP, I got the token, I put it right into the set. I'm good with that. Some of you guys didn't get either or, okay? I want you guys to remember though, this is the early release of Madden, and it's been far from, you know, going the way that it should. Uh, so you're gonna have to kind of bear with it, but you're gonna get everything that you need. The issue is this, right? Some of you guys don't understand, the 80 overalls that you get, you're supposed to put them into that set not use them individually. And that's what some of you guys were asking. Yo, this 80 overall is garbage. I know, he, you're not supposed to do it like that. You're supposed to do all three things, which I'm gonna go over in a second so everybody knows. And yes, it's been confirmed. You can still go ahead and do this in college football and get these things in Madden 25. So EA Sports at Madden NFL Direct, they have officially posted this comment where they're letting everybody know they are aware of it. As of today, August 14th, 2024, they're aware of it, you will be getting your stuff. So that's good news, because I told you yesterday I was about to be filing claims on the phone, like trying to figure it out. Now, it wasn't only me. A lot of other people that watch my videos have gone to help.ea.com and you guys have filed claims and you guys have notified them of what's going on. And that's a major, 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 major influence on me now. If you guys know that joke, you know it. If you don't, don't worry about it. But listen, this 80 overall right here, he is definitely not supposed to be starting on your team. I don't care how bad your team is. This guy sucks, bro. This 80 overall, do not use him. Okay, he is primarily to be put into the set of the three and to get an 85 overall version of any one of the three. Another question that was being asked, yo, G, do we get all three 85s? No, EA Sports is not Santa Claus. They're not gonna give us three free 85s at launch. It doesn't make any sense. You gotta pick one. But I'm showing you guys all of this because some of you guys have been using the card as is. Now, when you see that writing there where it says there are no guaranteed sources for this item, that means that you have to do something specific. That means you can't buy it. So if you did not get the deluxe or you know the MVP bundle like we spoke about months ago, you would have to go and buy college football to do this, which I don't really think you should. You might as well use the money you're gonna use to go buy college football at this point and just buy a bundle. You know what I'm saying? That that might make more sense because I don't want you guys going back to do it just because, yo, look, you know, the, uh, I want to say Quan Barkley and he's an 85 speed. It doesn't really make any sense. Now, the third guy, the 80 overall, all right? Josh Hines Allen. This is another thing I'm telling you guys. All of these cards are what's going to pop up inside of Madden 25 for you if you did everything you were supposed to do, you know, with college football 25. Please, guys, unless for whatever reason you really have no other option, do not use these cards as is. I saw one guy running around with an 80 overall Saquon Barkley just outright getting dominated. It doesn't make any sense. Do yourself a favor, make sure you do all three things, okay? So those are the 80 overalls that everybody's been glitched out with and you haven't been able to get it. Now these 85s, you only get one of them, okay? You only get one. 82 speed at right outside linebacker might not be good if you keep him at right outside linebacker. But just remember, you can move him in at the end. He just can't get to D tackle depending on the kind of defense that you play. So if you wanna go with him as a 6'5", 82 speed user, that is your choice. I would recommend against it because there are a lot of other budget beasts. Isaiah Simmons, it's that other dude, um, uh, Jerome, that they give you for free. There's a lot of guys in the game that's like 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", that you can use or that are pretty decent right now. So I wouldn't go with him as my one free card. Saquon Barkley is an absolute dog. Type one in the chat if you've played against him or you have him. This dude is out of control. Like he was straight up, like I was on skates. I played against him, I could not, yo dude, he was just doing whatever he wanted. To be honest, I felt violated and I wanted to go to the courtroom and point on the bear where this guy touched me, dude. Like it was real, real crazy, but he was just touching me all over the place. Like he was on the field doing whatever he wanted to do. It didn't matter, okay? So 
I would say you can grab him and see how it works out for you. I think he's the best out of the three. If you don't agree with that, let me know who your best player is out of these three right here that I'm showing you. Because I really do believe, like, you know, at the end of the day, he goes crazy. All his numbers are pretty decent. So I would say as a launch card, unless they drop somebody like Judkins from, you know, CFB, this guy is going to probably be one of the best ones along with McCaffrey. All right. And then finally, Miles Garrett. His 85, like I told you guys before, Miles Garrett is always a beast in, in Madden, but he's a beast at D tackle. Okay. D tackle only. At end, he's not usually efficient enough, and I don't know why. It just doesn't work out. I, I have no idea. You know what I'm saying? He just doesn't make as many plays. But you put that man at D-tackle, he goes crazy. If you know, you know. If you don't, you better find out. You better ask somebody. He goes crazy. So I would definitely go ahead and take a look at that. If that's something that you're into as far as defensively, again, I think Saquon Barkley is the best card out of it. My issue is this. If I do get the Saquon, I don't know what I'm going to do with uh, Christian McCaffrey because he's a beast right now and I got a theme team on him and I got like he's maxed out with the um you know the tickets and everything the season tickets like I got to give you guys a tutorial on that but now I'm going to jump into college football 25 real quick because some of you guys still don't really understand where the free players are coming from and where the boost is coming from all right so inside of the ultimate alumni inside the milestones you got two of them all right, the Madden loyalty packs, and then by just playing the game, EA Sports gave you another one, like somewhere throughout the field pass, right? So you have to finish, I would finish these up and make sure you have those done if you're going back to do it now. If you've already done this, you don't need to play college football, okay? I'm not telling you to go play college football. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just letting everybody else know exactly what you need to do so that when it comes time, you're already all set with everything that you need to do in order to get the free cards and the XP boost. So once you got to level 20, right, it doesn't show it to you right here. Here is where they give you the MVP season XP pack, but you get XP in Madden 25, okay? So you see like how it says Madden 25, but it's saying MVP season, all that stuff. This is strictly the collectible that you get right it doesn't show you anything else it just says season you know it says season one madden 25. this is where you have to get when you open that that's where you get the collectible for the xp boost okay so you have to get to mutt level 20. while you're in college football though some people have been reporting that they opened up a pack they did other things and then they logged back into madden and then they got the alumni players I'm just letting you guys know, you should log in to get some of your dailies done. I don't know if you guys are still playing college football. I will, as promised, will be getting you guys some videos out as they drop new content and things that I really want to be a part of. So don't really worry about that on that aspect. But if you wanted to, you could open up a few packs, all right, and just see what's going on with it and then log back into Madden 25 and see what happens. So I did this again for you guys to just double check it to see would EA Sports give me my stuff? So I went back to Madden, I logged in, and I'm like, yo, EA, come on, man, let me get my ultimate alumni. And EA was like, nah, bruh. And I was like, okay, hopefully you guys will get yours soon. I'll be there with you guys. Until next time, one love, y'all.